Okay. So I was just talking about the mittens and Doug was yelling at me. I'm going to show it to him. So these are our mittens that Doug's mom sent us. Aren't they cute? But like, this is the best part. Look. It's one big mitten with two things for your hand. Go this way. It's two things for your hands. So like, we can walk around outside holding hands, but like, our hands aren't cold. Aren't we dorks? But it's really comfy. Like, it sounds so stupid, but like, being able to hold his hand and not make hand not be cold, it was really nice. It's nice walking around in the winter and like you can hold Annie's hand. It's really cool. Aww. Okay. So, Costco opened here so we can get like pretty much any food we were missing from home. Like we got, they only have like one type of everything, but we got 30 boxes of Annie's macaroni and cheese. That's the organic one. We got... Laura, you know those fruit and nut and grain bars your mom used to send you? And I liked them. We got those. We got a big box of them. We got a box of mm, Nutrigrain bars. We got ground, like, you can't get ground beef in the grocery store. We got ground beef. We got flour tortillas. We got real cheese. The cheese here sucks. Like, it's not cheese. It's like cheese product. So we got, like, real cheese. What else did we buy? We got fabric softener. What else did we get at Costco? Pickles. They only have sweet pickles here. So I got dill pickles. You know, I'm sure you guys know how much I love pickles. Like, we got real pickles, and it was, an, it was like, the best day. Uh, ramen. We got a huge, of course, we got a huge thing of ramen. So they call ramen, ramen. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, Mongolia. Talk to the, can you stop for a second so we talk about Mongolia? Are you real busy? I'm, a, I'm just right my grandma. <clears throat> I'm so thirsty from talking. So, we went to Mongolia. We just got back yesterday. It was awesome. It's fucking freezing. Like, this did not impact my trip any, in any way. Like, I didn't, wasn't upset about the cold, but seriously, coldest place I've ever been. You went outside. You'll see pictures if you go to Live Journal. We're not going to post them out until, like, a little bit later in the week when we have more time. Cause it's finals week this week, and we're a little crazy. But, like, you would go outside, and within 10 seconds, the inside of your nose would be frozen from breathing. My hair, if my hair was down and like my hair was like here on my shoulder, from breathing out, this would all be frozen. Like you couldn't have your hands outside of gloves for more than like 30 seconds without them like turning bright red and hurting. It was really cold. Like, so cold. Oh, Doug's whole beard. Because for breathing on it, this whole thing was icicles. You'll see a picture of that too. Um, so the first day we got there, we landed, we didn't do much. Our tour guide met us at the airport and it was really cool because Lunar New Year is huge here. As I said, it's like their Christmas. So all these families were waiting at the gate for everyone. By the way, the airport was like one room, first of all. And uh, it's in like the middle of like all these mountains. But uh, all these families were waiting for their loved ones to come from Korea. And our tour guide met us and all we did was we drove to the the hotel and she dropped us off for the night because it, we were tired and we had room service and just slept. The next day we woke up, we went to like a really old Buddhist monastery. How old was it? It was from like 800. Oh, some ridiculous old number. Yeah. It was from like year 800. Like it was so old. There's pictures of that. That was really cool. There was these ridiculous kids with bird seed. They were like really persistent with it and like the one kid when we didn't buy the bird seed he like stuck out his tongue at us and like put it he was just standing at the end like right next to me at the car with his hand on the window and like would walk as the car started to go they were so pissed off at us from buying it then we went and there was a giant buddha statue that was like gold plated it was huge it was like 25 meters i think then we went where did we go we went to the museum of his history museum mongolian history we got to see, like, all about it. I didn't know this, that Mongolia was a socialist country until, like, 1992 or something. Like, really recent. So being there is really crazy. And, like, the city is pretty run down. Like, if, think about what you would picture a communist country to look like, and that's what Mongolia looks like. Like, everything is really run down. Like, everything looks old. Everything is, like, chipping and falling apart. People live in gears. I'll talk more about a gear later. Like, our tour guide lived in a gear. It's like a tent, but with a stove. So it was really, it made me really appreciate, like, I feel like a spoiled brat from being there and, like, everything we have. And, like, it was ridiculous. So we went to the Natural History Museum, not the National History Museum, 
We went to lunch, and then we transferred to a nomadic family. So we drove about two hours outside the city, and like we're driving, driving on a highway that was like really bumpy. It's a two-lane highway. Not even. It's like two lanes, meaning one way is going this way, one way is going that way. Like one lane each way. And all of a sudden, we just turn off the road and just drive into like a like a field. It was ridiculous. Like I don't know why we chose that spot, but all of a sudden we're off the road. We're like, oh, okay, so we're driving like over all this snowy like field and just mountains. We and, drove. And it's not like we're in a jeep. We're in like a friggin' like sedan, like a normal yeah. car, and like he just turns off. Like imagine like a car way like that looks like Doug's old car, like a sedan, but like way older and like falling apart. Just driving like over like all this snow. Um. We drove that way for like, I would say like 40 minutes. 40 minutes. We went, and we were going like 30 miles an hour. So like we went really far into like nothing. You'll see the pictures. I've never been like into a place like this. There was nothing. It was all flat with nothing around. And of course our car got stuck in the one snow bank that was in the middle of the field. Because it doesn't really snow in Mongolia. It's too cold. So the ground is covered in frost. It's like this much frost. But we found like the one like five not five foot, like foot hole of snow and our car got stuck in it and we just shovel it out. But we got really good pictures from that. Yeah, I actually like those pictures a lot. I'm glad that happened. Yeah, it was fun. And then we had one shovel, so they're like shoveling us out slowly and then Doug and then like there was another tour with us. It was like me and Doug and our tour guide and driver and then like another couple from Korea who were actually like a British girl and a, and a Canadian guy and their tour guide and driver. And uh, <clears throat> we keep driving I don't know how the tour, like the driver knew where to go. Like we're just driving in the middle of nowhere, and, and all of a sudden he's like turning all over the place. I'm like, how do you know where you're going? Like finding like not roads, but like where paths have been put into the snow, like from like tires. Hold on a second.